the big, who's the biggest failure in the Bible? God is. What you say? <laughs> you know, everybody asks you, say, who's the biggest failure? They say, Judas. Somebody else will say, no, I believe it's Adam. Well, how about the devil? <laughs> he's the most consistent failure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but he's not the biggest in terms of material failure and so forth. The biggest one in the whole Bible is God. Mm. Oh, what, what, what? Don't you turn that set off. <laughs> you listen to it. You, I told you now, you sit still a minute. You know me well enough. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell something I can't prove in the Bible. He lost his top-ranking, most anointed angel, the first man he ever created, first woman he ever created, the whole earth and all the fullness therein, a third of the angels at least. That's a big loss, man. I mean, you figure all that, that's a lot of real estate, brother, gone down the drain. Now, the reason you don't think of God as a failure is he never said he's a failure. <laughs> and you're not a failure till you say you're one. You don't have to be depressed. You don't really have to be a failure. You were never born to be a failure. I do not believe that any person was ever born to be a failure. It was never God's will that any person should fail. I believe that. You were born to be his child. You were born to be a part of his great plan. But perhaps you've missed it all these years. Because you haven't given yourself to him. And it's the most glorious thing in the world to just look up and say, Wonderful Jesus, I can't do it myself. I've made such a mess of the whole thing. Will you just take me just now? I want God to be my heavenly father. I want Jesus Christ to forgive my sins. I turn my life, myself, over to you. And with him, there can be no failure. For God knows no such thing as failure.